I'm here with Jenny Peterson Branch. She is the Arts and Cultural Affairs Coordinator here for the City of Dubuque. And we are down here along the Riverwalk. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about art on the river. Jenny, thanks so much for uh, meeting with us. Tell me, what is art on the river? Well, art is, it literally is, art on the river. So this is an exhibition that has been going on for 14 years now. And every year it gets switched out with new sculptures. So if you came down to Art on the River last year, you need to come back because the sculptures are all new and different. Right now we have 10 sculptures that are installed from the south end of the river walk all the way up to the north end of the river walk. Um, some of them are sitting right on, right on the riverbank like this one here um, by Skip Willett. And then others are actually kind of hidden amongst the grasses. You have to look for them. And this year we actually have a virtual piece that is part of this that oh. is super cool. Uh, we're really excited to kind of to try that out this year uh, with the virtual piece. And so, yeah. And so, like I said, there's 10 pieces to take in while you're down here walking around. Yeah, that's great. I mean, <clears throat> I love I, I love this selection because it's it is incredibly varied uh, not only I really like the idea of having a, a virtual medium uh, but also all of them all the other mediums are just they're a little bit different and they're varying size and and you know very very different styles as yeah well. yeah and we have artists from we I think our furthest away artist is from Kentucky and then we have artists who are right in our backyard um, a lot of them are made out of metal just simply because of the the elements of being down here on the Iowa <laughs> waterfront uh, you know because they're here all year long so they need to withstand the the water but they are all kind of unified through a theme that we chose for this year was the Mississippi magnified so when you read the statements from all the artists about their pieces there's some connection to to um, to water to Iowa to the Mississippi River that's part of the piece that they made so why is this important as far as outreach I mean why is it important to bring this kind of art to people and, and meeting them where they are yeah so one of the things that we love about art in the river is that it's fully accessible um, so you, when if you come down here and you have you're in a walker you're in a wheelchair you can come and see this art um, it's also in a place where it's free so anybody from any income level can come and can see this work here and enjoy the work of art and it's also for a way for us because the river walk in the port of Dubuque is such an important element in Dubuque it's a way for us to kind of accentuate that the natural beauty of the Mississippi River by adding the beauty that from the artist's eye and from their hands that they've created to put here against this backdrop. So as the Arts and Cultural Affairs uh, Coordinator, what are you hoping for people to take away from this exhibit? Yeah, well, I'm hoping that with Art on the River being here on the Riverwalk, which is a place where you know, people will come down, they'll get in their steps in the morning, in the afternoon, over their lunch break. I think that Art on the River is an opportunity to kind of uh, arrest their attention and to get them to stop for a moment. So whether it's getting them to stop and to enjoy the sculpture, maybe they're stopping to enjoy how the sculpture accentuates what behind it, you know, just to get them, sort of take them out of their daily routine and get them thinking a little bit about something, something new or something unusual, or even just to take a moment and be like, stop and appreciate the beauty of the sculpture and just enjoy that element in their day. Yeah. So you're new to this position. Uh, tell me a little bit more. What does, you know, the arts and cultural affairs you know, the coordinator do exactly. Yeah, so my job, I actually work in the economic development department at the city of Dubuque. Um, part of my job is overseeing the Art on the River program. Part of my job is also overseeing our grants program. So a lot of people may not know this, but the city actually provides um, annually $245,000 worth of operating and special support uh, grant. Uh, grant awards to organizations throughout our city so things like the Dubuque Symphony you know they get support from us to do the work that they do the Dubuque Museum of Art gets support from us to do the work that they do so we're kind of like my work is sort of um, extended through all the arts and cultural organizations in the community. I also head up what is known as the Arts and Culture Master Plan for the city. So in 2016, the city um, adopted an Arts and Culture Master Plan, which sort of acts as a guidebook for people who are in the arts or want to be part of the arts to sort of uh, grab onto tenants within that plan and to really accentuate what the city wants to do and how the city wants the arts to be part of the community and life and the economy in the city of Dubuque. So I oversee that. 
that. And then we also have a program that is kind of small, but I'm hoping to see it grow, with, which is Arts Mean Business. So it's kind of a, tri a program that's trying to create collaboration between artists and between businesses to just cultivate a really fertile ground for them to be supporting each other and um, for arts to find a place within businesses, but for businesses to embrace the arts as something that is helping them to recruit uh, to recruit and retain their workforce. So we know in Dubuque we have a really low unemployment rate, and so we need things like the arts, like culture, like um, fun, great activities for families and communities to take part in to be a place that people will really want to come and live to so that we can have the talented workforce that we need to keep Dubuque uh, chugging along. So, as the Arts and Cultural Fair coordinator, what's the state of the arts today here in Dubuque? You know, I think for a town of this size, Dubuque is really, it, it really has it going on, I would say. It's a big reason why I wanted to come here and to take this position. Um, as you, you can see across the landscape of Dubuque that it's really rich. We have the murals downtown, we have art on the river, we have um, artists and creative businesses wanting to relocate. We have things like the Creative Adventure Lab, which is an entire building downtown that is just you know, brimming at the seams with with, uh, with creativity and the arts. And so I think that it's really strong here in Dubuque, and I'm looking forward to helping that continue. Well, great. Well, Jenny, I, you know, welcome to Dubuque. Uh, and also, thank you for all your work, especially with this great exhibit. Okay, thank you. Thanks for having me.